In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your very own face animations in UEFN, which will work for any Fortnite skin you want and also player animation. I'll also show you how to import this really useful rig to animate whatever you want too. Now remember, this is part three to my animation tutorial. Please watch the first two parts to really understand what's going on here so you don't get confused. But anyways, let's just get to it. Now before we get started, I want to thank Tom Jank for this, alright? I wouldn't know this existed if it wasn't for him. But the first step you want to do when you're in a UEFN project is not going to kind of drawer, but you want to do is you want to make a new project when you're making your project you want to go into feature examples and then you want to find animation now this is an official epic made demonstration to show of animations so just just make just make the project doesn't matter i'm gonna call it my project anim who cares and go inside of it once you load into the template this is what you're gonna see you're gonna see there's like this building in a city none of this matters okay what we need to look at is you go into coin drawer basically all you really want to do hold control and click on all of these right click and migrate you're gonna migrate everything in the project now once you're in your folders you want to go to Fortnite projects, find the projects you need. For example, for me, it's Anim Tutorial Part 3. Click onto it. Once you're here, find plugins, click on to it again, and then you'll find the content folder and just click on it and go down to the bottom at select folder. Now it's going to migrate all the packages over to that project. And once it's migrated, the next step is just to close UEFN. Once we're back in our actual project, you're going to go into cotton drawer and now you're going to see we now have all of the things we imported earlier, if that makes sense. So now all of our stuff that was in that project are now is now in this project. Now you're also going to notice you've also imported the other project you made add uh, the level for that so what you want to do is you want to go into game feature data go into here and then just click onto the the one you want which is animal tutorial part three just make sure that's the same and also uh, delete the one you imported so delete the hlod layers for it and once you do that that's deleted and then you want to delete the other level and then once it's deleted it might take a while but once it's deleted you can now then maybe just delete uh, sequences as well because you might not need it either and boom there we go we're now ready now okay you're probably wondering what did we just import so basically we imported um a bunch of control rigs like these yeah it's kind of hard to see what they actually are but if you've seen the other parts which i uh, you sure you should have if you're watching this um make it all in folder i'm gonna right click i'm gonna go into cinematics i'm just gonna make a sequence uh, it doesn't really matter and i'm just gonna go inside of it then we're gonna contour i'm gonna go to fortnite and i'm gonna show you the difference okay so i'm gonna check out what i've used in the other source which is an fn mannequin if i do add actually the sequencer then i'll add our, uh, our mannequin now if i were to this is how i did it last time if i right click i go into control rig and then i go down to fx control rig if i import that you're not going to see this is what you see this is the, this is the control rig you get it's like these little lines but well, what we just imported is a new way to do it we delete this control rig we made we're gonna we're gonna add in a different control rig and as you see, there's nothing in here this is because you need to filter asset by skeleton and check that off um look at that we now have body rig face rig and then we have another one and then what we want to focus on is body rig if you click on body rig and we're gonna add that it's gonna it's gonna load now as you can see we now have this cool rig we can use for this mannequin. So for example, let's rotate his arm. We can use these to rotate him. Instead of using the lines, you can now just use these really easy, um, all these really cool little rigged up uh, things around here. If I grab a foot, you're going to notice leg now bends to where I move it. It's really useful. But while you're using this, you're going to notice something. If I were to press a little plus sign, you can go on a control rig. Let's see if I want to use the face rig. And let me just add in the face rig, the Fortnite face rig. You're going to see it's going to add this little thing right here. And this will allow us to control the face. You're going to notice something. Um, It doesn't have a face. So how do we control the face? And how do we animate the face of, uh, of a character? The first step is we, we need to delete this uh, mannequin. Forget about the FN mannequin for now, okay? What we need is a going controller. Device. And you're going to want to find this, the character device. Now, why do we want a character device instead of this? Because if I were to add this character device to the sequence, then add our let's say our control rig we want which is our body rig and we can add another control rig which will be our face rig as you can see still it doesn't work because again the, this this guy doesn't have a face but if we go into details when we have the character device selected and we can go to your character and we can actually change the character to really any fortnite skin we want there's about 800 different presets but for this example uh we're just gonna use zone jonesy because he's like you know the classic now you're gonna see uh he's he's gonna go back into the default position but if you're just going to the sequencer and just move it around he's gonna go back to where he should be as you can see this face rig you can actually select it and just you can, you can move it around if you, don't, if you don't like where it is i'll put it there and now what we can do i might make it bigger is we can change jonesy's face so for example if we move this up it's gonna move his mouth <laughs> i believe this is his jaw so if i bring it down he's gonna open and up he's gonna go a bit higher I bring it off this way he goes like <laughs> there we go and then this other one is his tongue so i can like move his tongue around if you can see that it's pretty funny <laughs> 
There we go. I can also move his eyes using this. He can move his eyelids. Like if I do that, he, he closes his eyes. If he does that, he opens his eyes. If I click this, it moves, it moves his eyes around. These are for his eyebrows. So I can raise them and lower them, get him in or out. This is for his, his forehead. So I can go, oh, we can go angry. It's really useful. I can also use this to make him smile or make him sad. So like, oh, oh God. So you, as you can see, this is really cool to control your very own, like control your very own animations. <laughs> I like anything you can you can key this so for example if i have it like this if i press low key down here i might just close the other one if i if i use the face rig and i key that and then i, I move the thing here and that's how i want to close his mouth you can do this and now jonesy's mouth will close that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so yeah these control rigs are really useful okay you can make some really cool stuff with it <laughs> and then if you've seen my other tutorial player animations then you can just you can just right click on the mannequin go around the bake animation sequence all we're gonna do is we'll just export that and if you've seen the other tutorials you know what to do next you get the chair device uh, you bring it out then we're gonna go into details we're gonna make it so it's visible uh, interact time is uh it doesn't really matter now i'll just do I'm gonna turn off player exit and then we're gonna right click then if you open up notepad you uh, want to control v it's gonna add in all the all the stuff then in here then you want to add in your default animation if you want to know more stuff about this it, i go over all of it in the other tutorial then you want to go into content drawer animation then you want to find what you did which is whatever and then you just want to copy the reference then you want to paste it into here there we go and then you want to control a control c and also select the uh select the thing then you want to right then you want to go into selection mode right click edit paste here and now we have our chair with our animation and just remember if you change any of these settings uh, it might break it so try try to have all the settings already done before you uh before you make it anyways now with this chair what we can do we'll just put him right on where this character device is so i'm there so we know where the animations will start when the player enters the chair then for example we'll just make a camera if there's a little button we're gonna add a little bit of this a little bit of that we're gonna key the camera and it doesn't matter so we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just save that now we have a camera angle for our character device and now if we just get out next step is we'll delete this sorry bro uh, i'm gonna delete you then we're going to go and we're gonna grab a cinematic sequence or cinematic device whatever you want to call it cinematic sequence device bring that out we're gonna add in our sequence which is thing we're gonna add in loop payback we're gonna finish finish complete state we're going to restore state then we're going to grab a trigger and this trigger if the player if the player walks onto it it's going to play the function which is the animation we want and then it's going to seat the player into the chair and now um if we just launch a session and then if i walk onto this trigger you're gonna see now the face animation is working with the player character isn't that cool now okay now next step is let's say like before i want to bring in my own mixamo animation i just grabbed the same mix animation i got in the other videos if you don't know how to get it i'll watch those videos but i'm just gonna import everything so i get the model as well so now we have uh, this animation which is from my mixamo animation which is for the for, for the mannequin which is this uh, standard run skeleton or whatever it's called what i want to try and do is i want to try and get the run animation but during the run animation uh, we use the control rig to like add a face animation to the player which is really cool so what we'll do is we're going to cotton drawer oh let's go into the animation thing and we're going to right click if you've seen the other parts you know what to do next we're going to go animation we want to retarget so we want to make a retargeter we're then going to go and we're going to make a ik rig this is going to be for our mix mo and then we're going to make another one which is going to be for our fortnite guy so we're just going to do a mix mo one first and our preview skeleton we're just going to add in our standard one or whatever it's called there he is so here we, here he is again as you know we need to go up here and we're going to auto create retarget change auto create ik and we've just done that and we're going to save we're going to go back into here we're going to our fortnite guy one and the next step we're going to go into here we're going to preview skeletal mesh but you're going to see something weird there's an fm mannequin here but there's also an fm mannequin there there's two fm mannequins so you're probably wondering which fn mannequin do we use so i'm going to use this one for example that looks more like the one we need so we'll, we'll, we'll add this we're going to do both the auto things and then go back we're going to go into our retargeter and then in our retargeter we're going to add our source which is going to be the mix mo we're going to add our retarget which is going to be our fortnite guy and then we're going to we're going to stop putting the retarget and we're going to go back to edit retarget pose and we're going to we're just you know going to fix it up you know how it goes there we go perfect and then what we're going to do next is we're going to we can go into asset settings we're going to make the target mesh scale bigger so it's much more accurate to what it should be that we should do and then once we have this we're going to go down to here we're going to click on our standard run animation we're going to export go into the animation thing and we're going to export it you know how it goes now we've, we've exported it now so we're going to go back into here we're going to go back into our sequence we're, going to, we're actually going to make a new character device 
we're going to select him. We're going to add him. And if we go to here, we add animation. You're going to see now, um, uh, um, we don't have a run animation. I just made this standard run animation right here, which is this animation with the guy running. So why can't I use this with, uh, let's say, for example, a custom character that we can grab out? Like, like, for example, I'll just use John Z again. Why can't I just add the animation we just made or the one we just retargeted now this is where um you might you might get something wrong okay so if you go into cotton drawer now if you actually look at our whatever animation as you can see there's, there's no image for it it's blank if we click onto it you're gonna see something strange as you can see our skeleton is this which is like some weird like thing and then our retarget source asset is this thing now what is this now this is the skeleton we should have actually used if that makes sense instead of this guy what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the animation um, i'm just gonna make a new one you can just use the old one if you want but i'm gonna make a new one and this is gonna be our new one then in our previous skeleton mesh we're not gonna select this guy or this guy we're actually gonna select this guy m medium base and we're gonna add that in it's gonna add this this goofy uh, like skeleton but it's fine don't worry about it now what we can do with this is we'll auto create retarget change auto create ik go back into our retargeter and we're going to change the target to our new one and then obviously we're going to fix it up and now we have this new uh thing here and now what we can do is we'll do the exact same thing we did get the standard run we're going to export it using this new skeleton we're going to make it an animation we're going to export the animation and there we go and now we have uh, this which is just this but with a different skeleton which is the correct skeleton that we need to use with the character device over here so if we grab this we will then go down to here we then want to go into animation and as you can see now we have our standard run in here so we have this so now the character device has this run animation which is pretty cool and now the reason why we did all this is because we want to add a face to uh, an animation from mixabel so what we can do is want to right click want to go to big to control rig and we're going to we're going to select our body rig and this is going to give us the cool little ik thing there we go perfect once we have this rig we want to press it again we want to go down to control rig and we're going to add in our face rig now we have another rig that's going to be for this face as you can see we have this now so if we just we just move this back. Let's say Jonesy's running and he's he's in anguish, so we can um we'll make him go like uh we animate his jaw. I'll make him open and close his jaw. Just like both of these. Now if you look at Jonesy while he's running, he's opening and closing his jaw, if that makes sense. So we can make his eyebrows up, uh, make him like go like that. We'll key that I guess. I was like, it's now we have a phase animation with another animation we got from Mixamo. Now, of course, you know what I want to do next. We're going to go into here. We want to right click our character mannequin and we're going to bake this animation sequence. It's going to be our final animation. Uh, You know what I want to do next? We're going to right click this chair. We're going to, we're going to copy it. We're going to go into here. As you can see right here, default animation. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go into here. We're going to find wherever our thing is. We're, we're going to find funnel on him. We're going to get the reference. We're then going to go back into our chair. We're going to we're going to hold this. We're going to just replace this with the with the other one. We're going to copy it. Um, control A, Control C. We're then going to paste it, and then we're just going to delete the old one. For <laughs> now, for example, if I place this here, this should already have its channels done. There we go. Okay. Now, if I launch the session, it should work. And now, in game, if I step on this trigger, you can now see. John's doing the run animation and also doing some face animation too, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's about it for the tutorial. Remember to like, subscribe, use my code in the front app shop. And thank you to all of our members of the channel. And watch all of these videos for more of my content. That's about it. I'll see you all around.